Real quick, some of the tools you're gonna need. 24 millimeter screwdriver long extensions, uh, 13 millimeters, uh, 10 millimeter short, T30, a ratchet with a wobbly head. You might need one of these, 3 8 wobbly. Um, a breaker bar, uh, 10 millimeter, 13 millimeter long, and a 10 millimeter on an impact to get those out. A little pick, a knife to cut that insulation, and uh, pretty much that's it. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is disconnect the negative battery terminal just so you can either take out the relay too for the compressor. I like to disconnect the battery so it doesn't drain while the doors are open. So you disconnect that, set it to the side and that. And there, there you go. And reconnect it later when we're done. Now you can lift the car. Real quick. One, Torx T30. Two, Torx T30. Three, remove this pry here. Here, 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 here. It'll come up, push it upwards. You just so you have enough space to reach in. As you can see, there is my extension that goes all the way to the top. And the bolt will be right there. You'll feel it by hand. Just move over, move some of the paneling over. right there. You can move this wiring harness out of the way, just unclip it. It's right there for the uh, passenger side. Side. Through there, like that, with that kind of extension with a long 13, and get that last one from here out this way, right through this little area here. Just gives you just enough clearance to get in there and feel it. Okay, so one more time uh, on the passenger side. The way I go in there with my uh, ratchet is this way. You see, you just put a, something to pry this apart a little bit and you go in through the side and then you can actually get get those two 13 millimeter bolts out. I use a setup like this. It's like a six inch extension on a wobbly two inch on a 13 mil. So you can get those out. You can just, you can feel for it by hand to get to those uh, bolts that are tucked away. So you're gonna use a 10 millimeter to get this line off. Just loosen it so that it drains this bag so that when you can put this back that it's not that it's easy for you to pump back you're gonna put a jack underneath and just pump it back into place right there um, I'll remove the fasteners here there's me here 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 all of these and a couple of bolts there and then um, Very simple one bolt at the bottom. Soak this in penetrating oil if it's rusty so it comes off easier for you. So on this end it's a little bit easier. Go in this way. All you gotta do is remove this cover and just reach in. And uh First 
one. the new part number. It says torque max is 30 Newton meters for the upper M8s, these. Don't, don't over torque these. Um, you can take this cover off with the two seals and, and double check before putting this back that this 17 mil is snug. It's only about probably 15, 20 Newton meters, but it has to be snug. I've had it where you put these in and they rattle inside, so you have to take it all apart. So what I do is just use a, a jack to lift this 2x4, because you're doing this by yourself, uh, to get those two, two holes lined up. And all you do is you just keep jacking it up until it's right about there. And now you go in the car, tighten up those bolts, and then you can let it down. To uh, tighten these back up, I never use an impact or anything, because they're only supposed to be tor torqued down to 30 Newton meters. So I just use a little uh, wrench with a ratchet with a wobbly head on top and an extension that wobbles and you can just do it by feel. Um, so basically that's it. Uh, I torqued this down. I'll have the, I, the torque sec I believe on this bolt is um, like 120 Newton meters but I got to double check and then basically it's in. Top is in and now we can go ahead and release the tension. You'll see actually dropping it down like that that'll fall. perfectly aligned in there and then your airbag is right now it's deflated so you're gonna have to uh, tighten that screw back up uh, and then as you're setting the car in the ground just let the rear wheels touch the ground and start the vehicle what that'll do is it'll start inflating that rear airbag so you don't blow it because you never want to set the vehicle in the ground all the way while that airbag is totally deflated As you can see on this side, you have a lot more clearance. Go ahead and snug those two 13 mils down. Make sure you use new ones, new nuts. And uh, let this go.